Hey, what's going on guys, it's James. Do you only have a few thousand dollars to invest into real estate? In this video, I'm gonna show you with you how to find deals where that's all you need to invest in real estate and get inside your first property. If you love real estate and you want to retire in six years, subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn on bell notifications where I break down real estate investing for you guys. That way you can retire in six years. The type of properties that we're going to be looking at today are pre foreclosures. Now, if you don't know what that is, what it means in a nutshell is a person that missed two, three, four months mortgages to the bank. Now the bank is telling them, hey, if you don't catch up on your payments, we're going to take possession of your property. That starts the whole foreclosure process. And I talk about that in that video up here, it's gonna be popping up. So go check out that video if you want to. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on pre foreclosures, how to get great deals before they go into the foreclosure process. Now, I'm gonna hop into my computer right now and we're gonna go we're gonna go over to foreclosure.com. Now, this is a site that I use literally all the time to look up foreclosed properties, pre-foreclosure properties. A link for foreclosure.com is gonna be in the description down below. Go click on that and we can go get this started. Now, this is foreclosure.com. Every foreclosure, pre-foreclosure, it's public record. All foreclosure does is take all of that information and put it into a singular website that we can go and utilize. And that's great because that saves us a lot of time and some things we might miss because this is automatically pulling records and records from states, cities, counties, everything. If you're taking value out of this video, hit that like button, turn it blue because it really does help out the channel. It helps me reach a broader audience. That way I can help more people achieve their financial freedom through real estate investing. We're going to look at Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Why? Because really I know that market. So we're going to look at Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. There we go wait for it to pop up all right cool now these are all the foreclosure properties now what we want to do is go over here to the listing type and we're going to type in we're going to click on the pre foreclosure now it's going to bring up a ton of properties there in the pre foreclosure process and again what does that mean it means they missed two three four months mortgages to the bank and the bank has sent them basically a letter saying hey catch up or we're starting the pre we're starting the foreclosure process so this is a great thing for us investors to know because if we know that these people are motivated to sell their property or a strategy i'm about to share with you that's leverage that we can utilize and one quick note about pre foreclosures foreclosures the whole foreclosure process most of the times you're not going to be able to see the inside of the property so again pre foreclosure is a great step because you can literally go knock on the doors that's exactly what i want you to do go knock on these people's doors take a month or two literally every single weekend go knocking on these doors you're going to be talking to the actual owners of these properties. So I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to make that quick note because you're gonna see in here that you don't really get to see pictures inside the property. So we're going to click on, let's just say this, this uh, pre foreclosure right here, the 9109 South Lake Drive. So as you can tell what kind of style it is, you know the address, you can literally go there and knock on this person's door. If it's the homeowner, have a conversation with them. You might be thinking to yourself, you know, I only have a few thousand dollars. How am I going to buy this property? You're not going to buy it. So there's a thing called subject to, and I also like to call it seller financing. What happens is this seller, they're distressed. They know that they're in the foreclosure process. Well, basically they're in the foreclosure process because they got sent a letter saying, Hey, pay this, or we're actually going to foreclose on you. So they know what's happening they know that if we don't they don't catch up on their payments they're going to lose their property this is what i want you guys to do you're going to go there knock on the door have a conversation with them this is an emotional time for people so be sympathetic understand what they're coming from sometimes they don't want to talk to you because of what they're going through as i can imagine it's embarrassing to be in this process right and have people know about it because it is public record anyone can find out if they're being foreclosed on. So put yourself in their shoes, try to come up with a plan that meets their needs. Let's say for example, this property, this 9109 uh, South Lake Drive, Oklahoma City. Let's say that they owe $5,000 on their, their mortgage payments, right? And that's what the bank needs them to make in order to bring their, their account up to speed basically. This is where you can help. 
you're going to go there and knock on the door again put yourself in their shoes they're going to be embarrassed they're going to be kind of threatened actually just have a conversation with them say hey i will catch you up on your monthly payments your mortgage payments i will assume the mortgage from you as in you're going to write out a contract with this this owner saying hey if i catch you up on your mortgage payments with the bank I'm going to assume this mortgage. You're going to still be on the name of the mortgage, but I'm going to be making these payments to the bank or to you, whichever way the contract is going to be written up. And then you're going to have control of the property. Now that's what real estate really is all about is control of the property. So once you pay their $5,000 and back mortgage payments, you're going to be making these payments to the bank or the, the owner, then you're going to rent out this property inside the contracts you're going to, have to tell this person you know hey you need to move out though if i do this because i plan on renting this out i'm an investor this is what i do but i'm gonna need you to move out they're motivated if they don't their credit is gonna be shot for the next seven to ten years it's gonna be on the record they're not gonna it's gonna be so hard for them to get another mortgage so you're gonna tell them hey you know if you move out i'm gonna catch you up on these payments nothing bad is going to happen to your credit and then we're just gonna continue living our lives. You win because you don't get your stuff affected. I win because I get the property, I get control of the property. You don't tell them this by the way, this is just in your head. It's a win-win situation and they're going to realize that. What happens? You see how much they're, they're uh... what happens after that? You see how much they're making every single month to the bank. That's how much they're paying the bank. As a savvy investor, you know, if you go to rentometer.com, we're gonna hop over there right now. There's gonna be a link to rentometer.com. So just click on the link in the description down below and it'll take you directly to it. We're going to pop this address into rentometer. We're gonna say, I always put a thousand because it doesn't matter. It's gonna pop out a number either way. Uh, it was a three bed, I believe. Three bed, two bath, 1800 square feet. Square footage don't really matter. Three bed over one and a half bath. We're going to analyze. It's going to pop up a number. It's going to say that the average for this area is $1,100 rounding. I didn't mention this earlier, but whenever you're negotiating with them, have them show you around the property. See if there's any repairs that are needed. Again, if you want to know more about the foreclosure process and how to find foreclosed homes and how to buy them, click on this video that's going to be popping up right here. It's going to show you exactly how to do all that and more. So until next time, guys, I'm out. See ya.